Let's go visit with Oliver Slope of uh, Blue Line Futures in Chicago and talk about our grain market activity today to start out the week. How are you doing, Oliver? I'm hanging in there, looking forward to uh, getting pretty full later this week with some turkey. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the grain market activity. Early on today, we had a lot of weakness, uh, not so much in corn, but more in the soybeans and wheat. Why is that today? Yeah, we've, we've seen a little bit of a, a mixed bag. Definitely, uh, I think, a little bit of profit taking from last Friday's session in that soybean market. We saw a nice surprise rally. Uh, but really, right now, we're just coming back into some key technical support, which was resistance on Friday, 979 to 984 for that January contract. I think it's going to be key on a closing basis. This represents the 50, the 100, and 200-day moving average, as well as the 50% retracement from the June lows to the July highs. So this has kind of been a big line in the sand for the the bulls and the bears over the past couple months. And I think if we're able to hold this on a closing basis through the week, I, I think that uh, tips the cap in favor of the bulls. Now, and this is a holiday week, so we might see a little bit of a choppier, low volume trade, but we'll, we'll see how things shape up right now. If we can hold this level, I think there's more upside to come. Eat here, Oliver. Is there any sign of hope for any kind of a bounce anytime soon? You know, I think the only bounce you're probably going to see is off of short covering. We've seen the rallies being sold into, and I think that that's going to be the, the trend going forward. We've been making a trend of lower highs and lower lows. Until we get a real fundamental shift, I think the bears remain in control on the resistance side of things, 434 to 436. I think it's the big pocket. A lot of traders are looking for if we close above that, you know, we could see some short covering. But until then, I think you're going to want to use higher price action to sell against. And obviously, you're seeing today's. Uh, market action reflect that from Friday's trade. More than where they closed on Friday. So, Oliver, do you consider this about as you expected on the trade today? Do you consider it a minor victory that they didn't wash out? <laughs> I, I think it uh, could be thrown into the category as, as expected. We saw the cattle on feed report a little bit bearish, but for the most part, I think it was in line with expectations. So we were expecting a little bit softer trade, but nothing outrageous. And I see the, the cattle contracts kind of seeping a little bit lower, but I think we'll kind of come into a little bit of an equilibrium here. Looking at the December live cattle contract, 117.30, 117.50. You know, we're trading just above that, but this is also key technical support. This is a 50% retracement from the August lows to the recent highs. So this is kind of the middle ground, so to speak. And we also have the 50 day moving average. I think with the shortened holiday week, get a lighter volume trade, we might kind of settle out here. Maybe you can see a little buying off that support if it can hold on a closing basis. So what is the last you have heard for the positioning on the large commodity funds here on cattle? Have they lightened up on their long positions now? It, you know, they still have a pretty good size net long position. I don't expect them to make any significant changes here this week with it being Thanksgiving, but they do remain net long. And if we do see a breakdown in the cash and the futures trade, you could see some accelerated selling pressure come into the market. But I do not see that on the near term horizon just yet. On the lean hog trade, we saw some firmness this morning. While the cattle market was heading south, we had the lean hogs going north, and the nearby December up 67 at 61.32. And that's now, um, well, basically about 60 cents off our earlier low of the day with the February up 40 at 67.48. Are you a believer in the lean hog trade, or do you think this is a sideways action right now? Uh, little victories in the lean hog market. We saw that massive sell off in that December contract over the past couple of weeks, and I think you're just seeing a little bit of a consolidation short covering higher against technical resistance 62 represents the 50 100 and 200 day moving average um, you know I think this is going to be a big line in the sand going forward I wouldn't get too optimistic I think the bears remain in control as we've done a lot of technical damage over the past couple of weeks all right good stuff thank you Oliver for talking